Hey guys, Coach Mike here with another guided programming question. This one says, I have the program for this week and I'll be rehabbing a mild hamstring strain, so upper body work only. Any issues with throwing a slingshot on for one of the bench days? Um, since the slingshot is not a normal part of guided programming, no, I don't have any issue with that. Um, basically, you have one and it's not guaranteed that everybody running the program has one, so if you want to work it in on occasion, you can. There's a couple different ways you can do it. If it's just kind of a onesie twosie thing, uh, I would just sub it in um, wherever is most appropriate. So find the part of your workout that focuses on triceps strength the most. So say you have a two board press or a floor press somewhere in your program. Um, you could sub that movement out, put the slingshot bench in, and complete the same protocol. If you really like the slingshot and you want it to be a significant part of your program, I would just make it a bigger substitution. So say um, you don't get much out of two board pressing. So uh, you want to use the slingshot instead. So what I would do then is anytime you see two board press in your program, make that substitution yourself and just do the slingshot. Um, you can do that. Uh, that's all right. Uh, if you are going to make it a more significant component in your program, uh, I would use it in blocks closer to competition. So use it for two to four week training blocks. Um, try to keep it closer to your peaking times because uh, in my experience, the slingshot is a fairly intense method. It's also a fairly specific method. So I like it in general. I think that it's a good way to do the overload work that a raw lifter benefits from. So go ahead and use it. Just make sure that you're kind of concentrating those doses a little closer to your peaking times. Um, to go along with that, you mentioned in your email uh, that your competition is going to be on March 6th. So maybe if you used it starting in February for that last, you know, four weeks of training, leading into your competition, that might be a good way to go. Now, if you've never used it before, I would use it for one week now. Just get it out of your system, get your feet wet with it, uh, get a little bit of understanding of where your weights are going to be uh, with the slingshot, and then once the competition gets a little bit closer, then you can use it in a much more concentrated form.